Hi, in this video you will see how Prophecy Operations Hub can be integrated with Prophecy Batch. You will see how you can generate displays that will interact with the batches and recipes that are available in the Prophecy Batch server. In this example, you'll see two pages in Operations Hub, one for recipes and one for batches. First, we'll take a look at recipes. Here you can see we have several recipes listed, and the Make Base recipe is selected. You can see the details to the right of the recipe. If we select another recipe, you'll see the details update. Some details to note are things such as who is interacting with the recipe at the time it's being executed, the version that will be run when the recipe is loaded, the time and the date that the recipe is to be run or executed, and other things that are very useful like what units or pieces of equipment will be used to run this recipe. Now we'll take a look at the parameters that are used in this make toothpaste example. You will see the list of ingredients and amounts defined to make this recipe. It looks like this recipe is making wintergreen toothpaste. You can see the flavor parameter is set to wintergreen in the list. If you were to select other recipes in the list to the left, you could also use this view to see how one recipe compares to the next. We just looked at recipes. Now let's take a look at how we can make a batch from one of those recipes. You can see here we have a list of batches. You can see the states that they're in, and you can see how long they've been running in each of those states. Let's go ahead and create a new batch. We can type in a batch name in the batch ID field, and then we can select a recipe from the drop down list in the recipe field. Once we hit submit, we'll see that our new batch, called batch 10, has been set for a ready state. Let's go ahead and run our new batch. We can select the Run button with the controls in the top left of the page. When we try and start the batch, the system requires the user to sign in again to perform this action. This is all part of the electronic signature capability that is offered inside of the Prophecy Batch system. The system was set for Perform by Action, therefore requiring the user to sign in again to perform that control action. All of the data associated with the electronic signature is stored in our audit trail. You can see the status of the batch has now changed from ready to running. So we see that this new batch that we just created called batch 10 was now executed by that user. All that information was then logged into the audit trail on our batch server. And we can see that it's currently running. And we can see the details listed along the right hand side here where we can see the details of the batch as well as an in-depth view of the steps and the operations that the batch will go through through its life cycle. This concludes this demo. Thank you very much for watching this video on how we can integrate Prophecy Batch inside of Prophecy Operations Hub.